he's been around since 1997, which is an awful long time. And I trained people in GCP in 1997. And it specifies, and specified and still does specify, the standards to be implementing implemented within clinical trial management and operations. Quality risk management, the newer neighbor, defines a process for identifying the risks that could affect the implementation of GCP. So risk management's not instead of GCP, but risk management will make sure that when you're trying to achieve GCP, you actually target your activities in the right area. So GCP and risk documentation. Now actually, when we when we first started doing this, um, these um, trainings and webinars, um, this, this slide was slightly different until we met an MHRA inspector. Um, GCP section 8 doesn't actually specify risk documentation as an essential document because risk documentation wasn't around when GCP um, was first drafted in 1997. The risk documents are classified as project management documents or, or audit the general hearing of audit reports. Um, the MHRA Grey Book, now I'm sorry, the MHRA are the only authority that's produced a book that actually tells you how to comply with their regulations. And until another regulatory authority does, then it's the only book that we've got that we can quote um, that gives you guidance. So um, although you possibly are not working um, under the MHRA auspices, but actually it's a very good book. It does actually help. Um, and the MHRA book does state that study, study level risk documentation should go in the trial master file. So although there isn't specifically a section there for it, they should go in the trial master file. And of course, your risk documentation will always be open to review by inspectors. Um, they may well ask for it now that they're expecting that we're all going to be taking a risk-based approach. Um, don't actually produce it until it's asked for, but then that's a basic principle that applies um, to anything um, within an inspection and your documentation. Um, but it, it is definitely something that you, an inspector can expect to see and will expect to see as a living document, not as something that's been folded and put away and you haven't touched for ages.